Hey, it's Ivan here. Welcome to a tech tutorial on System IO, where I'm going to show you how to embed different things from other websites on System IO using the HTML embed element. And I'm going to be doing four different use cases so you can see how to do it. Use case number one, I'm going to show you how to embed a calendar. So if you have some sort of a booking appointment you need to set up for free consults or coaching, that's use case number one. Use case number two is if you want to embed something from another software, it gives you better customization. For example, if you want to pull information from your Facebook business page, all your testimonials and put it so it dynamically puts all the information on your page, I'm going to use a specific software that does that, gives me a code and I can put it on my system IO website. The third use case is Canva. If you are creating some sort of a video on Canva or a presentation or things along these lines, you can actually generate an HTML code from Canva and put it on System.io. Use case number four is if you want to create confetti animation, virtual confetti, where things kind of explode on your page, then I'm going to show you how to install an HTML code from a software called confettipage.com. Full disclaimer, it's my software. And you'll be able to actually when somebody lands on your thank you page, they will be able to kind of see and experience some confetti. So it's kind of a gamification feature, either for a new subscriber or also when somebody finishes a lesson and gets to the next lesson inside of Coursera. Those four use cases I'm going to show you right now. So let me share my screen and we'll get started. So we're going to start with Canva and I'm going to show you what it looks like when I embedded a presentation, which is just like an image. And this one is a video. Now with a video, you're going to need to actually click on play for it to play. Whereas with a presentation, I'll show you when you actually set it up, the animation will actually take place instantly. So have a look, I'm refreshing the page and you could see that the animation is taking place right away. Now, if this is a slides presentation, in order to see the next one, you still have to click on it, but at least the first one will actually happen as soon as the page arrives, basically. So if you want to animate some sort of text, you're going to be able to do that. Note that you are going to have the branding at the bottom. Now, how do you embed this? So with Canva, you simply go to share, then you're going to need to click on embed. Then you're going to need to click on copy of the HTML embed code. Then you're going to go and basically upload this raw HTML. You're going to put it here. You're going to click inside. You're going to click on edit code and then you're going to paste it in. Now, I don't want to use this particular code because I want to show you a brand new example because you're not always going to see the embed feature. It's a little bit hidden. So let's start over with a brand new one. So I'm going to click on this one, something that I've not created an embed code. Now I'm going to click share. Now you'll see there's no embed. So where do you find it? So you're going to click on more. Then you can search for the word embed. Here it is. Click on it. Then click on this button. Then click on this one and then paste it in. Click on save and now it will show up. Now, if I was to refresh this page again, you're going to see that this training up here at the beginning. Now I'm going to show you how to embed a Calendly calendar on your system IO account. So in this case, I am simply going to put one of my calendar events. So I'm going to pick the free consult one just for the purposes of demonstration. What you want to do is you want to click on the share button after you create the event, then you're going to click on add to website. Then you can do inline embed, which means that it is going to literally be on the page visible right here. Option number two is you can do a pop-up widget, which means it's going to be on the bottom of the right. And then you can also do it so it's actually a text link, which will then open up. Now I'm going to do this example on the pop-up widget. I'm going to click on continue. You can customize the color. So I'm going to make this red just for demonstration purposes. In here, you can click on hide event details, hide cookie banner. Actually, let me change the color again to red like it was. Now I'm going to click on copy code. Now I'm going to go back here, scroll all the way down, paste in the raw HTML, and then edit code, delete what's here, paste in, 
click on save click on save and then preview now you're going to see a little red button right here on the right it's going to appear which is going to be saying this calendar link and when somebody clicks on it you're going to see the calendar booking appear like so then you'll be able to choose the time the dates all the stuff and whatever you did to customize will appear so now when you do this type of embed it really doesn't matter where you put the embed code like it doesn't matter it's always going to appear on the bottom alternatively if I was to do the same thing again, so I'm going to again click on the free consult, click on share, click on add to website, and I want the inline embed. Now it matters where I put it. So I'm gonna click on these options. I'm going to change the color and make it green. Now I'm gonna click on copy code. Now it actually matters where I'm gonna put it. So I'm gonna put it on the very top, raw HTML, paste this here, click on edit code, replace what's here, and click on save. Now I'm gonna click on save changes, preview, Note that you're not going to see it on the editor, right? So you'll have to see it here on the preview. Now you will see it up here and you'll also see it here. Now you'll see the top one because that's the green one that I did, right? And again, this is embedded on the page itself. Now you'll notice that when you click this and click this, you'll see that this one has a scrolling effect because this is a lot of questions which are bigger than what is available here. So here you've got nothing scrolling up and down, but as soon as you have this, you have the scrolling up and down. So now how do you make it so it doesn't have the scrolling up and down? Is you can go to the edit code and then here, if you actually look, you will notice here the width and the height. So the width, what I can do is I can make it, uh, let's try and make it 720. And then the height, let's make it 1700. Click on save and let's see what difference it makes. Click on save changes, preview. You'll notice that this is very similar. Click here, click here, click on save. Now you will notice that there is no scrolling on this effect. There's a big scrolling here, massive gap because of the HTML. It basically created a massive gap. So you have to kind of play around with it to see how you like it. But this is something if you want to embed it on the page specifically and you want to make it so there's not a lot of scrolling for here, basically. Okay. So this is just a little bit of customization. It gets a little bit more techy. So you can see that the, the customization of the width is doesn't really matter too much, but the height definitely makes a difference. Okay. So that is currently embed. And by the way, the exact same thing works on Tidical the same way as well. In case you didn't know, Tidical is simply a cheaper alternative to Calendly where you can pay one time and get access to a calendar booking software. If you want to check it out, go to around.link forward slash tidycal. And if you want me to record a tutorial on how to integrate Tidical with System.io, leave a comment with the word tidycal and I'll make sure that my team records a tutorial on how to set that up as well. So if that's of interest to you, just leave a comment and let me know. And if you want to get a cheaper alternative to the booking calendar, around dot link forward slash tidy cow. The next thing I'm going to show you to embed is Facebook reviews. So if you have reviews on Facebook, your business page, which I have a lot of, these are all essentially digital assets that can help you sell more. And since people are leaving reviews, I want to be able to pull this information and have it added to my page automatically. So if you go to my templates membership sales page, as an example, you will see number one, a Canva embed, which I showed you earlier. So that's number one that you can go and check it out. And also if you scroll, you'll be able to see right here, all of these Facebook reviews. When you click on load more, it's going to continue to populate all the reviews that people have left me on my Facebook business page. So I didn't have to create this. I simply installed the code, all the information got pulled in. In order to do that, I use a software called Elf Site which has a lot of different features, a lot of different embed codes, and I could do probably a hundred plus tutorials on Elfsight. It is an incredibly powerful tool. If you wanted to dig deep on Elfsight and share a little bit more about it, leave a comment with the word Elfsight and I'll share it with you. Now, for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to show you an embed code I've already created. And basically what I'm going to do is I've got the Facebook reviews right here. I'm going to click on install. I get the code already created. And then when I go here, I'm going to go and paste in a section, scroll all the way down, paste in a raw HTML, click on edit code, hover over and highlight, delete, control V to paste in the code I got from Elfsight, click on save, click on save, and then click on preview. And now you will see a few things. You're going to see, of course, the Calendly because I left it. You're going to see my Facebook reviews are now appearing right here. 
And that is the power of ElfSight and embedding a code to be able to pull all your testimonials. You could do the same thing for other testimonials as well, if you have your testimonial hosted in other places. So if you were to go to around.link forward slash elf site, as an example, you can actually go to the apps and see what apps are available. So you'd click on explore all apps, search for the word review, and you will notice that there is Google reviews, there is LinkedIn recommendation, Airbnb reviews, Booking.com reviews, Captera reviews, and so on. So there's a lot of different review places that you can actually pull information depending on what it is that you are using. Maybe you're selling Etsy and things like that. I obviously use uh, Facebook reviews, and that's why I have all of that. So hopefully that helps. And again, if you want me to do a tutorial on ElfSite specifically, leave a comment with the word ElfSite. And if you want to go check it out, then it's around.link forward slash ElfSite. So that is how I use that particular embed code with my System.io website. The last software or embed code I want to share with you is how to install a virtual confetti on your thank you page after somebody buys or something along these lines. So I'm going to go to confettipage.com. Now in here, I've already created a confetti and you could see here that it is meant to be installed on this domain name. The confetti is basically installed per domain name. And you can see here that I am installing it on the domain name members.comtrips.com. That's the test that I'm doing. So I'm going to click on edit page. And with the confetti, since I've already got it installed, I'm simply going to click on install confetti. It's going to give me the code, which I'm going to click on copy. And then you will see that it says here, this code will only work on members.com truths. So now what I'm going to do is again, I'm going to add the code anywhere. It doesn't really matter where. I'm going to click on Roy HTML, click on added code, replace what's here, paste in the confetti code, click on save, click on preview, and three, two, one, confetti. Awesome. So now I've got confetti installed. I've got elf site, Facebook reviews, and I got Calendly as well. Now I can go and embed Canva as well, but I think you get the picture. So little recap for you on the tools that I shared. So there's confettipage.com. If you got, want to go check it out and install confetti on your website, there's another tutorial um, somewhere around here you'll see on how to do that with System.io. And you could just go to the website. There is the calendar embed, which is Calendly. Then there is ElfSite embed, which is around.link forward slash ElfSite. And then there is Canva as well. So those are four different examples, four different use cases. And I would love to know from you if there's any others you would like me to record a tutorial for or something along these lines, anything you uh, think that will be beneficial. And let me know. Let me know. Just comment below the software you want me to check out. And that's about it. Thanks all for watching.